Hello and welcome to Gitterk Farms. We're back with another episode of Susquehanna River Valley. And uh, we've been just going to town on uh, all these different tasks that we've got. And so today we're going to be uh, knocking out a little bit more of our herbicide spraying. Now I have gone ahead and got a different version of this mod. And so if we actually jump in here to our finance tab, you can see I sold our old sprayer off for just under 28000 and then we bought this new mod for thirty-five. So we took a $7,000 hit, uh, but this is uh, uh, on the mod hub, and then I modified it. I think we have a work speed now of 12 miles an hour, and so that should make spraying go just a little bit quicker. And so we're going to head out here. I think our soybean field is ready to get sprayed. And so this is uh, uh, going to make short work of that. And then uh, while we're doing this, last episode we had uh, been knocking out a uh, cultivating contract on the other end of the map here. And uh, I realized that there was another big field right next to that that was available as a contract. So if we bring up the contract menu here, we're cultivating field 110 right now uh, with a worker. And that's going to give us a little over $8,000. Uh, and so I figure with the worker fees, um, by the time we're done cultivating this rather large field, that's going to balance out to the $7,000 we lost uh, switching this equipment out. And so I figured that was kind of a fair way to uh, cover those costs because, uh, honestly, we're going to just save so much time uh, with this uh, faster sprayer that it's uh, worth it to me. Now, I'm seeing that this thing is rather low to the ground right now. I'm going to lower it, I'm going to raise it, and there's there we go. That's how we do it. Get that up off the ground just a smidge, because with these hilly fields, I don't want the sprayer digging into uh, the ground here. And now I'm trying to figure out what the best angle is going to be uh, to tackle spraying this field. Um, I guess we'll uh, get started on the long row here and then see what uh, GPS has to say for us. I'm uh, really hoping that we can uh, come right alongside the edge of this road here and get a track going somewhere in this uh, general vicinity. And so we're going to let this guy go for a little bit here. We're going to punch the number and then uh, see what angle GPS puts us at. Um, it looks like I'll probably end up going over the corner of our driveway here just a little bit. But uh, that's acceptable to get on a good track here. Um, you can see my tire tracks back there uh, in the field. Hopefully we're not destroying any crops. It doesn't look like it. Um, with seasons here, the way it works is my understanding that uh, when it's in the first growth, first growth stage like this, um, you don't destroy the crops no matter what kind of tires you have on your vehicle. So um, we're going to go with that. And I think what we're going to do here is uh, make the turn and just back up into the corner here and see if we can spray this little bit of a corner. Um, we'll have a missed a uh, couple of spots here. So I'm going to spray uh, this bit and we're just going to go all the way down the headland and then I'll come back and get this little triangle that we missed uh, in a few minutes here, hopefully. Now, I'm not going to use GPS for this bit. We're going to try and do it manually so that I don't lose the track we just set up for the longer rows. I know when we did the cultivating, I just continued to go back and forth this way. Actually, that's probably what I should have done here as well. And so maybe we will set up a new GPS line and uh, do the left and right. I forgot how much wider this end of the field is here. And so um, we've got a nice headland over there now so that we have somewhere to turn around without going into that neighbor's field. And then uh, we'll do the same thing right up here. Just grab a pass for the headland so that we're not always uh, running into this fence. And uh, it'll have worked out great. And so it's exciting to have uh, gotten through most of our field work here and still be into late spring. Um, after we're done spraying here, I think that we're going to actually be able to 
uh, probably fast forward the clock a little bit. Um, we have to be cognizant of our animals. But uh, once we get done with spraying this field, we should be able to turn around and uh, move forward until we get into the summer uh, when we're going to be ready to hopefully start cutting our alfalfa soon. Uh, if we take a quick peek at the map here, our alfalfa field being down here in the uh, lower left-hand corner, I think field 137 is our alfalfa. And so it's not quite ready yet. In fact, it looks like, if anything, our uh, wheat is growing a little bit faster down here. Um, so we'll have to see what order things get done down there. But uh, we're going to have a little bit of work to do down on some of those smaller fields sooner than later. And then as we get into late summer, we should be able to start silaging some of our corn uh, and get that ready for turning into feed for the cows. So... Lots to do here as we get into summer still, uh, especially when we're running animals. And uh, at some point, we're going to want to look at uh, adding some sheep on to that farm uh, in the south. I know a few people have recommended an appropriate time to do that to maximize the uh, gameplay elements. I can't remember when, but if, if we do sheep that we're going to collect wool from, then uh, if you get them at a certain time of year the wool becomes available i think only in uh, certain periods during the year maybe spring i can't, i don't remember i've never done sheep with seasons and so that's uh something new that we'll uh, look into but i don't think we're going to get into that in this episode um i do have to say spraying at 12 miles an hour feels so much more natural than uh, when we were going seven miles an hour and so this job is nowhere near as uh, monotonous as it was. And so this is a, a really good pace for us here. Now the question is, are we going to have enough herbicide? Or are we going to need to take a trip into town to get some more herbicide? That I don't know. And I'm seeing in the distance we've got some smoke coming up behind these trees. I'm kind of curious what that's about. Is there a factory over there? Is that maybe the lumber mill uh, that's generating some smoke in the distance? I'm trying to think what else is in that corner of the map there. Alright, it looks like we have uh, gotten to the last pass here on these super long rows. We're going to overlap a little bit here. I probably should have gotten a sprayer section control set up while I was out editing mods. I uh, haven't been using it nearly as much with precision farming uh, because all of our fertilizing is getting done uh, at the planting stage. And so I haven't done nearly as much spraying, and so I kind of forgot about uh, leveraging sprayer section control. Uh, it has been updated since I did my tutorial on it, and it's a lot easier to set up on uh, equipment now. Um, you only have to uh, edit the work zones now. You don't need to have the look-ahead zones anymore, which is a lot less uh, copy and paste and editing that you have to do in the XML files. So I'm definitely have no excuse for uh, not leveraging that here, especially when I'm using a sprayer that I've uh, already gone into the XML and done some modding to, so we should uh, look into that here at some point. And uh, I think the sprayer is probably set up well for it in general, uh, just that you've already got each section on the wings here, so we'll, uh, we'll definitely have to look into that here soon. Now, I'm wondering if I probably should have done a headland pass here on these angled rows. I think maybe we will uh, whip around here and do that just to give us the room to turn around so we don't have to keep fighting with it on each pass here. And so we're going to just do this quick run. Uh, actually... I'm going to change my mind. We don't have that many passes left. I think we're just going to keep dealing with it as we go here. And uh, the grass area widens out here on the upcoming passes. So I think we can just live with this. Now the question is, did I remember to get that triangle up there or not? Uh, we're going to go check. I can't remember... Ooh, we did not. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab that real quick. All 
There we go. We're running low on herbicide. Not sure we're going to make it. 17%? Maybe. There's not that much left of the field here. And I guess we didn't start at 100%. I think we started at like 80%. So there's a chance that we'll be able to uh, finish this field here. We'll see. Honestly, I'll probably not go buy more herbicide just to do the last few feet of this field if we do run out. Um, oops, let's not hit the trees. Um, just because I don't know that it's worth the uh, gas driving all the way into town to pick up some herbicide uh, just to do one pass at the end of a field. Uh, especially because with seasons, it's not like we're going to get weeds everywhere. We might get one little bunch of weeds here somewhere in this little bit. So that's kind of my thinking on that. Although it looks like we're going to have enough, so we're probably worrying about it for nothing. Nine percent. Can we do it? Actually, it'd be nice to kind of have nothing left over. Um, that way, we're not storing a pallet of, you know, ten gallons of herbicide here for no good reason. Although I've just realized, actually, we're gonna have to do some spraying on our corn at some point, and so we're gonna need another pallet eventually anyway. But uh, in true procrastination fashion, we're going to save that uh, struggle for another day when we're going to go and do the spraying on our corn because uh, we finished this field with uh, 32 gallons of spray to spare. So that's a uh, pretty good spot to be in. Get this all folded up and run it back up into the yard. And then we're going to go check and see how our contractor is doing out here on the other side of the map. Um, I'm seeing the worker dollars continue to hit our bank account, so I know he's still on the clock at least. Kind of curious to see if he's just on the clock or if he's actually getting something done. Workers have a tendency to do things like get stuck in the field or on a fence or who knows what. All right, so we're over here at uh, field, what is this, 110? It looks like we're 52% done with uh, this contract. And uh, our worker's doing pretty good here. Um, if we look at the map real quick here, this is a pretty straight field. There's some angled rows over here. Um, but for the most part, we're just going back and forth here along the straight rows. Um, not a lot to see or do here. So I think what we're going to do is just... Uh, let this worker wrap this field up and then that'll put us in a good position to uh, start advancing time a little bit because we don't have uh, a lot of other jobs really to do here i guess we could look at the contract board but you know we've done a fair amount of these jobs already um, i'm not sure um, our planter isn't really set up to do parley so we're Probably gonna just uh, wrap this contract up and jump ahead a little bit here and see what jobs we can uh, come up with after this.
All right, so we have finished up this uh, contract in field 110 here. So we're going to go ahead and hit collect on that. And uh, that pretty much balances out the uh, costs we incurred to upgrade our sprayer here. So I feel like uh, today has been a, maybe not a success, more of a wash, but uh, it's better than getting set back a ways. And so... We're going to go ahead and just run this uh, cultivator back up to the farm. I think we're going to be pretty much wrapped up with doing uh, cultivating contracts, at least for right now. And so we'll uh, check back in up at the farm here. All right, so we are here back up at the farm, and uh, we're just going to unhook this tillage tool here. Um... We still don't have a pressure washer, so I guess we're just going to toss this tractor back in the shed for now. I am looking at the clock, and we have uh, gone for quite a bit longer than I thought today. We uh, Cultivating that uh, contract took a lot more time than I expected, so I think we're going to wrap things up for today here. And uh, next time we're going to move the clock up and see what kind of work we have to do. Uh, pretty much looking forward to working with our alfalfa, silaging some corn, and then uh, I think coming up after that is going to probably be hitting this uh, wheat uh, for harvest. I think that's going to be our first crop that's ready to go. So we'll see how it goes. But that's all for today. Keterk, out. All right, we're coming back up here to the farm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> we got a little bit of fishtail here. Let's uh, get things under control. 